The spladle. It gets its name as it's a cross between a split scissors and a cradle and is most often seen in folk style wrestling where it can be set up as a defensive tactic against a single leg shot and used to pin and score back points. Now here is an example of a banana split which you will notice differs from a spladle as the opponent's head is on the mat whereas in a spladle their head is stuck between your chest. An early example of the spladle being used in MMA is here where Rich Crunkleton uses it to defend a single leg and is able to fire off a quick elbow before his opponent escapes. And here's Wade Shallis, the man widely credited with inventing the spladle, showing his preferred setup for its use in MMA as a counter to a single leg against the fence which is exactly the position where its most famous use in MMA occurred. Where Nate Diaz was attacking Joe Stevenson against the fence, Joe rolls into the spladle and lands many unobstructed strikes to Nate Diaz's face. And Ally Aquinta was able to use the same setup against Miles Jury, where Miles was attacking for a single leg, Al rolls and hits the spladle, taking Miles out of his game completely and putting him in a very uncomfortable position. He then lets go with his right hand and lands multiple elbows to the face of Miles Jury before stretching him out and testing his flexibility for the possibility of a submission. Now I should note that in both these cases where it was used in the UFC, it didn't result in a submission and the opponents were able to escape. But there is one case of the spladle being used for a submission victory and it happened in a match between JJ Holmes versus Andre Kavanagh. Let's break down exactly what happened. We can see here that JJ Holmes is riding in side back as Kavanagh quad pods up and Holmes gets high on his shoulders. He'll then remove his left arm and use it to reach across and hook behind Kavanagh's right leg. He'll then roll forward into the spladle while hooking his right leg on Kavanagh's left leg. As they roll through, you'll also notice that he's secured a rear naked choke grip on Kavanagh's right leg, and then Holmes will then stomp down with his left foot on Kavanagh's left leg to secure the submission victory. And that concludes this study on the spladle and its use in MMA. If you'd like to learn more about the spladle, I recommend the work of Wade Shallis, and I'll also be taking a separate look at the banana split in the future. In the meantime, please like, share and comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more breakdowns like this. Thank you.